Phil here, cruising out in my awesome new canoe with my nephew Clayton today, cruising down the Blackwater River. And uh, we are starting up at the top of the canoe trail and it has rained a lot and there's tons of water in the, and we're moving really fast and it's awesome. <laughs> so that's the breakdown as of yet. And uh, we're gonna do a two night camp and hope to get some cool footage from that. But uh, yep, this is what it looks like so far. And we are cruising right along. <laughs> so, right on. Later. All right. We have found the spot that we are going to make camp tonight. And actually already have made camp. Right on this nice sandy beach. Got the yacht right there. And the yacht served us well getting here. Uh, found a hell of a deal on this fiberglass canoe on my way home. And uh, stopped and got it. Painted it camo. And it is awesome. <laughs> uh, we brought everything we needed to do a hammock, uh, hammock tent camp out tonight. Got some of the Skeeter Beater hammocks. Got them in there ready to go. Got them under some tarps and keep the moisture off of us, or some of it anyway. And uh, got a little pit. We're about to start a fire, and uh, just gonna have a good night. Nice and cool tonight. And it's supposed to get to about I don't know, maybe about 40, 45 tonight or something, 50 degrees. But it's gonna be perfect. We got a big pile of debris over there, and. Uh, which actually looks like somebody actually made a bush hut right here at one time. And I hope they don't get too mad, but we're going to use some of this for tinder and some firewood tonight. But this would have been a perfect spot if we just had a tarp to just lay a tarp right in there. Somebody already took the time to make that. It's pretty nice, but it's also a good wood, wood pile. So we clearly won't use all that, just a little bit of it. And uh, so it's going to be an awesome night here on Blackwater River. All right, so we made it through the night. We froze our butts off. Um, but the uh, good lesson to learn is bring a pad when you sleep in a hammock in the winter time. And it only got to like 41 or something like that, but I swear it was colder than that. Um, just the fact we didn't bring enough clothes is one thing, but it was alright, we made it. And uh, other than that, the hammock slept really good. Got our fire going. We had an awesome stew last night. We gotta show them this stew. <laughs> <laughs> we made a uh, squirrel soup last night <laughs> and it was actually phenomenal had my little cook set here and uh, man it, it was way good last night right there but squirrels carrots potatoes uh, onion gravy onion gravy on top of that and uh, something else oh yeah and celery in there too so it was a hell of a soup we're about to heat that up for breakfast i believe and finish that off and then uh head on down the creek all right one thing we <clears throat> one thing we found when we was out here is this awesome grill which is basically a i don't know a 15 gallon drum or something 10 gallon drum and someone had already had it here which was awesome thanks somebody all kind of holes in it already. Aeration. And uh, as you cook on it, you can just feed it logs through the side. Keep it going. Kind of hard to get it level, but actually we had that beer can. Using people's litter to our advantage. Put him under that corner. There you go. Perfect. There. Now all we gotta do is put our vittles on there. Wait a couple minutes. Bam. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. So, it'll be on again here in a little bit. Oh, I hear the vittles are boiling. Yeah. Oh, what? What? It's boiling like crazy. That's good. <laughs> Look at that. It's gonna be awesome again. 
<laughs> yeah, again? <laughs> I'm ready. Wish we had some Bisquick biscuits to go on there. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> but this is what our uh, tents look like without the tarps covering them up. I mean our hammocks. Without the tarps covering them. Got the Skeeter beaters. And uh, because there's no reason to have anything else living in Florida. So getting in them is tricky. And uh, I thought I was going to be, I mean it's not tricky, but I thought I was going to be slick and just bring my fleecy sleeping bag and a couple Mexican blankets. Not recommended because it's impossible to keep these on you. <laughs> The sleeping bag is a good idea, but it's not big, it's not heavy enough. And, uh, but you just basically sit in that joker, and it's good, you know? Don't keep, don't put your shoes on, but I'm gonna do it, because I'm just staying here for a second. And then, reach in there. Zip her up, and, uh, salutations, and good night. Shoo! <laughs> Thank good. What? Now look at here. Talking about some squirrel legs, <laughs> some, uh, some taters, some greens. That one ain't as much as biting as mine, though. So. <laughs> we got this old plate here, and uh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what breakfast's supposed to look like, right there, Jack. No, not really. That's clearly dinner, but uh, anyways. Nothing wrong with it. Bon appetit. So, uh, looking forward to this again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Later. A little rice. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, th this was a great spot because clearly it's been uh, habit uh, inhabited several times before. Um, it had all kind of nails and things already hanging in the trees for hanging pots and pans and hanging your gear on and that made it really awesome um, knobs in the trees that worked good for pans and tiki torches I found these tiki's man it's awesome these tiki's you can get them now at Lowe's with the actual screw cap on it and that makes it very convenient for just carrying it when you're done just screw it off and it won't leak all over the place that was like totally awesome those have probably been out for a while but I, I just seen them and uh, so we got our water hanging there off the uh, little stump and uh, my gear belt. I was able to set both of these hammocks up with just the uh, ropes they came with and one section of a, a rope left all the extra hanging down and uh, that was nice. So we tied actually the factory end off to the one side and then just used the same piece of rope to tie these sides clove hitch, half hitch to a, a single becket band for, for the loop to tie them. Those come out easy, so that's good. And then the screen, the hammock actually, the screen part hangs off these ropes, which conveniently tuck in these bags, which is nice. See, that was already there. <clears throat> and then all I had to do was run a guy wire up here, which is just bank line, tang those little flimsy tarps that we had. But, that was all right so the uh, camp out was a success except for being kind of cold but i'd rather be cold any day than have bugs all swarming on me going bzz, 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 and all that crap that goes along with that so that was good all right and i kind of just crammed my azula off into the tree to hold that uh, can <laughs> which people are going what did you do that for but hey it worked out good baton that old Azula right in there and hung my uh, tiki torch off of it so no problem there and got my e-swing hatchet which was great for chopping all this wood that the whole boy had over there we kind of put a little dent in his little shelter there but uh not too much and the old war wagon there the old war wagon good this thing was a uh, I found it for 250 bucks I think it was an old town it's fiberglass it had an ugly green paint job on it, so I just camoed it out. And uh, so it worked out great for that. 
and uh, kept the inside just tan so in the summertime it won't be blazing hot inside there and uh, so working out great I didn't even have to set up my bow saw but I did bring it with me and uh, we did everything with the hatchets and machetes so we didn't want no rip roaring bonfire going so it worked out pretty good all right gonna pack her up and get on out of here <laughs> Later. all right one cool thing we found on our well didn't find we made we got out here and realized we forgot our the utensils so we made a, a spatula out of a spam can lid <laughs> which worked out pretty good just put it on there like an arrowhead and uh, that worked good for getting the uh, spam off the plate and then we made this fork of course which is simple and uh, so we had utensils and everything worked out good all right we're packing it up I'm gonna get on the water That is. Yeah, it's a knife. Dude, we think we just found a more knife in the tree. We're gonna go investigate. <laughs> Can't believe somebody left that. That's clearly more. A brand new one. <laughs> yeah, it's a more. Stainless steel it looks like from here. Okay, give her help. Oh! <laughs> we hit the root. Pedal head, pedal head, on the other side. Go, 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 go. Right there. That's actually a hard bank. Alright. Alright, go grab her. <laughs> That's gotta be one. Is there a Ford up there or anything? <laughs> See? <laughs> huh. Spot a more knife a mile away. <laughs> I don't see nothing else. Okay. Right on. <laughs> I, I knew it was going on. Wait. I got that same one.